Throughout human history, visionary leaders have been able to see and address the needs of society. They have the ability to unite people into a strong movement, changing the world and directing the course of human history towards a better future. We would like to invite you to be part of such a global movement. Dr. Bhupendra Kumar Modi, futurepreneur, billionaire, philanthropist, would like you to join him and the Global Citizens Forum in the challenge of realizing a one world concept. A world beyond nationality, gender, religion and boundaries. The prime objective of the Global Citizens Forum is to create a global society based on the principle of interconnectedness. Members of Global Citizens Forum comprise of global leaders and experts in the field of business, economics, human rights, social service, administration, arts and others. The forum aims to create one world to solve some of the toughest challenges that face humanity and achieve some of mankind's greatest dreams and goals. We need to come together today as we are faced with some of the toughest problems yet. Problems of such a magnitude that mankind cannot solve them individually and needs to address them collectively at a global level. The answers to these and many challenges is for people to unite across the planet to think as one world. The Global Citizens Forum is an initiative of Dr. Bhupendra Kumar Modi, futurepreneur and chairman of Spice Group, a diversified conglomerate with interest in telecom, finance, entertainment and healthcare. The origin of the Global Citizens Forum. For over a decade, Dr. B.K. Modi has been asked by leaders of faith and religion, thought leaders to work towards the creation of a platform where people with a similar mindset can come together to create a common meeting ground. It is with this and set against the backdrop of the largest gathering of mankind in the world, the Kumbh Mela, that the Global Citizens Forum was inaugurated with an initial 50 members, world leaders of faith and religion, captains of industry and thought leaders. We had an old saying, Samast Loka Sukino Bhavantu. It was a prayer calling for universal happiness and well-being of all. Dr. Modi has done a fantastic job, you know. Uh, the revival of the Vedantic philosophy came once with Ramakrishna Paramahansa and Vivekananda and in this 21st century I am so glad that Dr. Modi has taken it upon himself to lead this change for global citizenship and for one world. Global Citizen Forum is bringing the whole world together as global family. That only can happen when you have a global heart. When you have a oneness for all, the openness for all, when you have a space for everyone, you are not exclusive, you are inclusive. You include all, exclude none. BK Ji is doing a lot of great work. Every person has a lot of money, 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 but why did BK Ji get this job here? They know this is the truth. उनको ही ये ये मौका मिल रहा है कि एक गॉड की बात करते हैं गॉड तो एक ही है कोई भी मजहब दो गॉड की बात नहीं करता है गॉड तो एक ही है उसके नाम अलग अलग हैं इबादत के तरीके अलग अलग हैं मगर ईश्वर एक ही है पंतुस नेसा रेवोल्यूशन स्पिरिटुअल को वे जो अपने से é a derrubada de barreiras que separam por exemplo ciência e espiritualidade one, one of the, the points that I see uh, take place in this spiritual revolution 
is that we are bringing down the barriers that stand between spirituality and science. É. É, ou qualquer tipo de barreira né, que impeça a pessoa de beber nessa fonte eterna né, da vida. As well as the bringing down of any barrier that prevents people from drinking of this eternal source of life. É, por isso essa palavra inovação ela me soa é, muito bem é, quando associada à espiritualidade. That's why the word innovation sounds very good to the ear to me when it's associated to spirituality. É. It's so important that we think outside of the box. On, on how to help people in need. There's so many resources out there that are available to us that if we just take a moment to try and think about how can we bless somebody, how can we um, positively impact their life. Um, and again, it just takes a moment for us to sit down and think of these innovative, innovative ways. For years, uh, I've been producing film and TV programs to try to uh, make the world understand uh, each other, peoples from around the world understand each other. Um, I, I think that, uh, you know, with cable and satellite television, it's been very much kind of a one-way dialogue from producers to audiences. Uh, I think that uh, with the new technologies that we have available today, particularly through the internet and through mobile devices, uh, there will be a way to create more of a dialogue among peoples from all over the world, and among people with different religious points of view, spiritual points of view. I think that the dialogue is very important. I am happy to learn that many spiritual business and social leaders are coming together at an event of global consciousness being organized by Dr. B.K. Modi. As human beings, we are all the same. Each one aspires to happiness and each one of us does not want to suffer. This is our most fundamental reality. And on this level, the problems that we face as human beings remain the same. This is why whenever I have the opportunity, I try to draw people's attention to what as members of the human family we have in common and the deeply interconnected nature of our existence and welfare in the context of global politics, economy and environmental issues. I am with you in heart and spirit and my prayers and my best wishes are always with you. The forum's constitution allows for its membership to include 50% men and 50% women, with 25% members representing the youth. The Global Citizens Forum is registered in Singapore, from where all member applications will undergo a process of scrutiny and membership selection. On approval of their memberships, members will receive an e-card with a smart chip. The future. As the Global Citizens Forum grows, with it grows the recognition of the forum and membership by organizations and countries across the world, working towards one world. Global Citizens Forum is in a historic and amazing philosophy and movement. And it's truly an honor for, for us to be involved. Uh, we'd like to thank Dr. Modi for inviting us to be involved with this incredible movement. Global Citizens is about uniting. It's about one world. It's about joining resources, joining hands to positively impact humanity. I imagine Global Citizens a year from now, five years from now, being a huge collaboration of organizations. Um, you know, many, many people uniting to accomplish uh, missions around the world to positively impact humanity. Um, that's what I feel uh, Global Citizenships will be a year from now, five years from now. I'm the founder of Another Joy Foundation. We're an organization that utilizes resources in the aviation industry to transport supplies around the world for free. So this is another source of resources that we need everyone to, to uh, pull together. Everybody has resources, no matter it may be people, um, uh, financial resources, 
uh, product resources, but it's the key is joining all those resources and the key is to acknowledge those resources, see those resources, harnessing those resources to positively impact humanity. And um, that's what we do with Another Joy Foundation. We, we utilize resources in our industry to transport supplies around the world for free. And um, we're positively impacting. Well, I think it's a, a unique idea and a, and a brilliant one that transcends the borders that so often create uh, uh, walls between people and, and create, uh, as a result, conflicts um, from people misunderstanding what's going on on the other side of the wall. And, you know, if there was a way that we could all jump the fence, see what's going on the other side, talk with each other, understand that we're much more similar than we are different, uh, then the level of conflict uh, among people in the world should be reduced. And uh, I think it's a, a, a beautiful thing uh, in its concept, uh, but in the execution of it uh, is always the challenge. And, and so if there's a way that we can come up with a legitimate structure uh, whereby people can uh, become truly global citizens uh, and, and really look out for what's best for all of humanity, uh, then I think then certainly problem solutions will come much easier. Obviously to choose the objectives carefully where impact can be positive, where good work can be done and, and it can be measurable uh, so that when in the future people are asking to go to certain countries to help, uh, that they will recognize the credibility, legitimacy of the organization uh, so that they will be allowed to come in uh, without any delay because so often help is time sensitive and people suffering through even one night uh, can be an awful experience and traumatic and, and so things need to happen quickly. My overall has been an unbelievable experience and it was to see so many people come together was impressive uh, and to see the different religious holy men come together was extremely surprising and actually enforce this one idea, one God, one world belief that it is actually possible. I think before coming here, I really didn't think it was, I didn't think people were on the same belief, on the same idea of going in this direction of one world, one God. But seeing this and hearing everybody talk, I definitely think it's possible and I'm even more encouraged to follow through with the Global Citizen Forum. I would like it, well one, I think for the easy, Simply, I would in five years it would be great if it, we were to reach a million people to become part of the Global Citizens Forum. It would be fantastic to see a million just in Asia, Southeast Asia, or a million in Europe and see it grow in numbers because I think numbers alone will show that people are starting to think and accept the mission of the Global Citizens Forum. I feel it's a very important initiative and um, uh, for many cultures and many religions we all talk about how we are all one and it's time to bring that into into our, our living and the way that our countries are run and um, I feel that the Global Citizenship Forum allows for that to happen because once we're global citizens then we're proving all of our philosophies. Uh, I'm a young person who, who travels and I've been to many different places. I come from a very different culture, grew up in Canada, now in India and um, I see I see you know how how humanity is all the same and and how I am very much like everybody that I meet and and different at the same time and I, I have to be a global citizen I have to be and so does everybody else and and uh, allow having a certificate and becoming a global citizen will allow me to to make yeah, what I, what I believe a reality. In five years, I hope that there are a group of countries, um, it, you know, ideally the world, but I would like to see in five years a group of countries who have adopted this and who are, who are making global citizenship a part of the way that they run them, their country. Global Citizens Forum, creating one world beyond nationality, gender, religion, and boundaries.